So then, everyone, time for another special because I can't get my head in the game for doing my special effects just yet. So I'm thinking tomorrow will be the day for uh, working on some of the special effects that need to be done for the next review episode and the final episode of the season. Uh, in the meantime, more quickie things to come, and uh, um, I believe a couple days ago, Erin gifted me a couple things over Steam. She got uh, out of clear blue. She got me Divine Divinity here. She also got me um, Left for Dead 2, which I might add she has been harping on that we should try out eventually. So I'm pretty sure I know what we're going to be playing for our next uh, group Let's Play. So yeah, that's in the wait, and we might be practicing a little bit before we actually start filming anything. In the meantime, however, Divine Divinity, let's try this out for the first time! I'm a bad boy, but you have to be to survive on the streets. To live in the gutter, a lad has to learn to cut corners, and on occasion, cut other people's purse strings. These days, the law only serves the rich. So I help myself. I am strong, as a man should be. The strength of my body and my skill with weapons are all I will need to defeat the many foes I will doubtless meet in my life. Evil must be cleansed with iron, gripped in a strong hand. A strong mind and a grasp of magic are all a man really needs to fight evil. I seem an aged mage wither a mighty warrior with a simple word and a gesture. Such a mage will I be, using magic to remake the broken land. They say there are only two ways of living for a poor girl on the streets. Prostitution or starvation. I took the third way. I steal from the rich and give it all to my poor self. At least in this corrupt world, I'm a hero to myself. Who says men are stronger than women? I bested the village blacksmith at wrestling when I was 15 and killed my first man in a fair fight less than a year later. The land sickens. It needs a woman's strong hand to restore it. They call me a witch because I'm a woman and an enchantress because I'm pretty. Damn them! I deserve as much respect as any male wizard. The land is sick and in using magic to heal it, I'll earn their admiration. Being a guy, I guess I'll go with one guy. I am strong, as a man should be. The strength of my body and my skill with weapons are all I will need to defeat the many foes I will doubtless meet in my life. Evil must be cleansed with iron, gripped in a strong hand. I guess I'll go with Conan here. Um, easy, normal, hard. So let's go with normal. Hero, let's rename that Mad Matt. Of course, it's my hero name for every game, practically. Augment damage. Oh, that's right. Sort expertise. That's his startup specials. I'm a bad this? boy, but you have to be Assassin's to survive on the streets. Yes. To live in the gutter. A lad has to learn to cut corners. A strong mind and a grasp of magic Sun are all a man really needs to fight evil. I see an aged mage wither a mighty warrior with a simple Your word strength. and a gesture. I'm a bad boy, but you have to be to survive on the streets. To live in the gutter, a lad. They say there are only two ways of living for a poor girl on the streets. Prostitution? Who says men are stronger than women? I bested the village blacksmith at wrestling when I was 15 and killed. They call me a witch because I'm a woman and an enchantress because I'm pretty. Damn them. I deserve as much respect as any male wizard. I like lockpicking though, so actually. two ways of living for a poor girl on the streets. I'm actually leaning towards her. Starvation. I guess took the, the third way. Fine. Um, I steal from the rich and give it all to my poor self. At least, least in this corrupt names. world, uh, I'm a hero to myself. Yeah. One of the usual female names I'll pick every once in a while. That particular one I got from a, uh, I believe it's kind of a wolf girl from a certain 
OVA and manga. Should really review the manga one of these days. Since I have that complete now. Oh my. There's no time to sleep. Thing around here, huh? I assume I'll drop something. Um, that's not doing what I thought it would do. Um, sure, equipment. Okay, so, yeah, first stuff automatically goes right on, which is nice. Not putzing, putzing with that sort of stuff. Okay, I grabbed a torch. Oh, I just deactivated a torch. Never mind. I was actually grabbing it. My friend, you're awake at last. How are you feeling? I'm not officially horrified to see your balding head. But I digress, strange bearded man. You're in my house in Alaroth, a small community of healers. In normal times, this place would be bustling with activity, but 
things have been rather quiet due to the recent troubles. You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well, our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone, how should I put it, well, uh, he seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits, and he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. <laughs> I don't follow you. What? Good gods. You want to kill Mardenius? I look. You suck. Follow the street outside my house, a little bit to the south, and then go west. His house is next to the old well. Let's see what you got for trade. I will... I will try to raise you for your... So I can sell almost anything. Awesome. But it's like followed. I could actually grab anything and everything and sell to people. Sweetness. Uh, before you go, I couldn't carry your belongings with me when I brought you here. Feel free to take anything you find necessary from my house. We healers believe in sharing what we have with the needy. Oh, you're very welcome. You can always repay me later if you feel in my debt. Perhaps you should pay George a visit. He has a small shop and could provide you with some basic gear for a reasonable price. But I'm sure an adventurer like yourself will find ways of making enough money, even here in poor Alaroth. He lives in the southeast of the village, near the gates. I can't use that. I mean, use that. I just want you to grab it. I'm not able to use that. Sorry, I can't use that. I can't use that. I'm not able to use that. For some reason, it won't let me pick up half the things I want to touch, but okay. So you don't want me to be able to get goodies. Fine by me. As long as I get other things. Hello. Sorry, I can't use that. What can you use? Mardanius, my poor old friend. What are you doing outside? What? Oh, oh, oh. it's you, Lanulor. I, I was 
Ah, oh, he will come. The end is upon us. Shilloy, you're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. But Nemesis is near. We must be vigilant. We must be pure. We must um, behave. Oh. What did you say, Lanilo? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. Okay. Beware. Dangerous dwarf to the north. Signed, Lanelor. I can't use that. Hooray for possessed people. So we're just gonna stare at them all day if I do that way. Lorne <laughs> Rake, staff weapon! <laughs> wow. Brings me back to the hoe of destruction. No idea what that just did. Sounds like it's gonna be fun. Disciples to seal the place because I sensed a lightning 
machinations of evil coming from down there. No one has returned from the catacombs to report what manner of peril that I sense has come and turned some entity far from the magic. Rota, Rota Duke, stormed his castle and asked him to dispatch some troops. So the Duke might take care of the problem. Unfortunately, Duke Ferrell has so far ignored my request. This book shall stand as a warning to any traveler who enters this place. Turn back while you can. We've already lost half a dozen men trying to explore this pit of evil. Let their sacrifice be enough, and God scour the spirits. God save their spirits, probably. I mean, they probably meant, but the font is so. Eh. Game. I hear gurgling sounds. Oh, joy. Symbols written in blood on the wall. This has got to be wonderful. I wonder what that did. Someone's shooting at me. I can't use that. Oh. 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 
She might actually be able to take a hit. <laughs> um, is there a map? Oh, goody. There's a map. Yes, I do. Ugh, I only went to take one. Dang it. Do a chicken walk. Neat, huh?
Da dun. Da dun. Hello. You bastards! Find money the only way I any way I wish to also meant Yeah, by the way there's some dead underneath our city. We completely know about it, but we care, don't care to think about it these days. <laughs> Go ahead and get yourself stabbed on there, shithead. Yeah. I'm sure the skeletons would love to shank a bitch. Uh Again, I guess he is supposed to be healer, so I assume he's supposed to be lawful stupid. So he's probably just arrogant of the fact that there's undead underneath the city. Wait a minute. It's because it's locked. It's locked. Doesn't mean it's oh. Doesn't mean it's not open. Excellent. Yep, sapphire key there that I just got recently. So I just made myself a shortcut to get the hell out of here again. And I could use a quick break to unburden myself of loot. Oh. And as the day passes. Such a southeast day. Well, let's see what's in here. You can't do that! I need the stuff right now! Look how my hands are shaking! You didn't pay me for the last delivery, old man. From now on, it's gold on the barrelhead before you get your herbs. Understood? Please, I'll pay you as soon as I get the money myself. I, I haven't had many customers because of the damned orc raiders in the woods, but I'll sell something soon, I promise. George, don't waste my time. If you don't have the gold to pay me, you don't get your herbs. End of story. Look, perhaps I'll tell my colleagues about your little secret, huh? You wouldn't like that now, would you? Please! Just a little bunch on credit, I'm begging you! Look at you, George. You're pathetic. Send for me if you get my money before the cold shakes get you. I wonder what you will look like with my dagger sticking out of you. <laughs> and he ignores me. Like a bitch.
There it is, next to the table. Don't move it. It's very fragile. alone. I need it. Thief? By God, I'll have your blood! I'm not sure he'll be respecting that anymore now. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Sorry, wrong house. Southeast. Don't tell me I just pissed off the guy. I just pissed off the guy, that's great. Thanks for explaining so well that I shouldn't have touched that game. Thank you. Thank you so bleed much. Tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Mm. So, yeah, there's that game for you. I screwed it up in no time flat because I didn't know.
Jeez. I was going to stab you in the head. It'd be cheaper. I'm not able to use that. A special move. Apparently, my special move is attempting to sneak, although it does not work on the undead, apparently. Mortanius, my friend. Did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look! Here they come! Oh, big arm, foul creatures! Oh, the rabbits? Come, Mardanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction! What? Huh? You! Oh. Thelion Hashnitar, the Lord of Decay! Be gone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor! Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion! Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! No, Mardanius, no! I am Lanilor! The hell is happened to him? This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. The door's locked. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. I'm concerned about honey right now. I'm trying to get into this place. Um. Wait, you know what? Let's call to action. Let's go after the guy that sent me out to look at this guy anyway.
be playing Jeebus. I'm trying to save a guy over here and you just want more of my money. The door's locked. Yes, but on the same token, this door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. It's not let me do anything to that. The door's locked. Well, I think I saw a well over here. Somewhere. Ah. Sorry, I can't use that. Smash it open, you dingled berry, but whatever. Act like that. We won't get any loot. Whoa! You bastards are everywhere down here, aren't you? Can't use that. I'm not able to use that. Sorry, I can't use that. That actually got me experience. I've known that killing tiny rats is going to get me easy experience. I've been doing that already. Darn it. No, 
no thanks to the rotten food. Oh, there's a ladder, so this must be my way in. <clears throat> Through the stinking cellars, smell of boiled cabbage. <laughs> ah, boiled cabbage. Oh, the dear, the guy comes beneath. Which I've already started to explore. Hell no. Herbs in the garden. Apparently, I don't know what I'm doing. Stupid. Bring me burger, burger. Well, anyway, I sped up my next level. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to call it there because I'm going to have to restart this anyways because I obviously botched something. But yeah, that, that's, uh, that's Divine Divinity for you. Tough as nails. And I believe there's some multiplayer stuff. I'm not sure if you can actually co-op, but I do believe there's at least uh, trading. So if you got a rare item that another friend's character could actually use, you can do some over-the-internet trading with your items and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, catch you all later.